Hi GITV, I'm Lynn, Lady Lynn Airsoft on Instagram, and this is my loadout for the Imperial side at BB Wars Battlefront Red Alert. So my primary is a GNP Mark 23 Stoner LMG. Um, this is my favorite gun that I've ever run with. It's sturdy, never needed repairs. I primarily chose it because it's so light for a machine gun. It only weighs about 10 pounds on its own. The box mag holds about 1,200 rounds. And what I like about this gun is that it has a semi feature. So I have that option available to me uh, when needed. Anyone that I've ever let play with this gun has ended up buying their own. The only things I've ever had to do to this gun in terms of upgrades is I've had an RHOP installed. It now shoots about 400 FPS uh, with a range of about 230 to 240 feet. So normally I don't wear a cover. Um, for this game I'll be wearing a beanie. My hair is really bright uh, and it kind of gives me a way out on the field, but I love the color blue. So I, and because it's airsoft and I run a saw and I've got a, a pretty good amount of range, I, um, I really don't mind if people see me out there. So for iPro, I wear a Dye i4 mask. It's my favorite mask uh, that I've ever run with. In the past like seven years, I've run with a, a several different combinations of face and iPro. Um, the i4 mask is the most reliable I've found as far as fogging and comfort goes. Around my neck, I'm wearing a sniper veil. Um, I normally run with something like this or a shimag. Um, just to protect my neck, I always seem to get shot in the one place I leave exposed. So I always make sure to cover my neck up when I'm out there. So for BB Wars Battlefront Red Alert, I'll be running on the Imperial side, so I'll be running in my woodland camo. Um, on my back, I'm wearing a camelback for hydration. It also carries snacks, pretty convenient. I'll be sporting my uh, Lost Sheep patch. This is the team that I normally run with. We play uh, Lion Claws events. And then this is my doppelganger patch. She's got blue hair, green eyes, and a machine gun just like me, except she's maybe a little bit cuter. I like it. <laughs> because I run an LMG, I don't have the need to carry extra um, magazines or speed loaders, so I run a pretty minimal loadout. I have a battle belt uh, with a Condor triple AK pouch on the side. I carry BBs, uh, red rag, and extra batteries, um, just in case, because I hate having to walk back to the car for batteries. Um, I also carry a sidearm. This is a KWA ATP. I carry it in a G-code holster, which was made specifically to hold ATPs. What I like about the G-code holster is that it's modular. I still haven't decided if I'm going to wear it on uh, the drop lug holster or up on my belt, but because it's modular, I can detach it really easily and move it around as I see fit. Um, I'm also wearing Harbinger weightlifting gloves. They have leather palms. I pretty much only wear these to protect my palms. I have a lot of trouble um, with full gloves using my fingers, so I much prefer to have uh, fingerless gloves on. I'm wearing combat boots I bought at Big Five, and they are so old I don't even remember what brand they are. I think I probably bought these seven years ago when I started airsofting, so I've had them for a while. They're really comfortable and really broken in, so <laughs> they work really well for me. I'm Lady Lynn, and thanks for watching my tactical gearheads, and I'll see you on the battlefield. <laughs> I don't know what brand my boots are. They're so old. Should I, I just these. say that? I got these when I started airsofting seven years ago. I'm like, I got these five dollars. I point a lot. Edit, 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 edit. edit. <laughs>